Welcome or welcome back on uh, C Square. In this uh, video clip, we will talk about how to graph uh, C cap. Alright, so I said here use a table, uh, use an intervals of 0 to pi, use the unit circle if needed. I'm not going to use any of this. I'm not going to use the circle, the unit circle, I'm not going to use a table, but yeah, we're going to try to get a graph on the, this interval 0 to, to pi. And why not? Why not a table? Why not a unicycle? Because the secret is defined as 1 over cosine, right? Secret is the reciprocal function of cosine. So, yeah, graph, graph cosine of x. That's the thing I said here. If you graph cosine x, you'll see how easy it's going to be the sinker. And for the cosine, we have what? We have five important points. Which are those? Let's take a look. So obviously, this is the interval 0 to pi. And I'm going to get the five important points of the cosine. Okay. One more important point would be add pi. Add pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. These are the moment where the cosine uh, has important points. What? The first one is going to be a max. The next, the next one is going to be a 0, a mean, a 0, and a max. And the graph keeps going like that forever, ever, and ever. So now if I have this graph, the secant is going to be very easy. Draw some vertical line where, where the graph cross the where the graph of cosine cross the uh, cross the x-axis, something like that, and draw these U's. And that's it. This is the graph of y equal secant of x. And like I said, the red one is y equals cosine of x. So always I use the graph of cosine to get the graph of the secant. You can see here pretty much what I did. You can see a vertical asymptote and uh, only a bit of uh, one u here and two half of the u here. Uh, here you have more periods and also you can see uh, the graph of cosine and the graph of secant. So let's try a couple examples. I put here a couple of properties which are obviously similar to the, the property of cosine. The period is 2 pi over b. Very important. So let's say we have the secant, right? So as I said, instead of graphing secant of 4 pi x, which we'll graph, by the way, we're going to graph y equals cosine of 4 pi x. Then here, the first thing I'm going to do, find the period, which is 2 pi over b, b being 4 pi in this case. The pi cancel out, so we have 2 over 4, which is 1 half. So, and basically now we can draw a graph, 0, 1 half is the period, 1 over 4 here, 1 over 8, and 3 over 8. These are the five important points of cosine of 4 pi x. Max, 0, mean, 0, max. And I'm going to keep doing a little bit more. And then I'm going to draw the asymptotes, right? Do you remember? The asymptotes are right here. And then the U's. And if this is pretty much done, this graph. You see it better here. Okay. In case you want to see it. Okay, so asymptote here, right, 1 8 in the middle, right here. Right here will be 3 8. Okay, okay, okay. 
Uh, and that's it for the CPNet 4 Pyroworks. Go ahead and try this one and we'll see what we get. If you have something like that for secant of x over 2, the red graph, that will be good. Oops. In fact, you can see uh, the exact graph right here. And you notice asymptote of pi, 3 pi, 5 pi, and so on. And you see the, uh, this one is uh, cosine of x over 2. And the green one is secant of x over 2. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and comment on C-square for more help. Thank you.